excited to talk to you. I so enjoyed this movie. You got the script. What was your first thought about reading it? And how did you decide you were going to move forward? Yeah, I mean, when I got the script, I was like really excited about it. I was excited that this story was to being told. Um, yeah, I too didn't know anything about this story. I didn't know anything about Charlie Walker and even this oil spill. So um, it was just a pleasure to be able to to bring this to life and to read this story. Well, you know, what I love is the fact that you're playing this strong woman, right, who's like stuck with this man. So it's so beautiful to see that. And, you know, the way it was written and the scenes you had. What were some of the moments for you that were really impactful in filming those scenes? Yeah, I think uh, some of the moments for me that were really impactful were um, just, any, just first of all, like just our my banter with Mike, you know, working with Mike was just such a pleasure. We hit it off right away and knew that that was going to be good. So that was just kind of a good foundation for what we were building um, as actors and as characters in this movie. And I think also, um, you know, the um the scene in the in the hotel with the girls on the bed and us and just that just felt so personal to me because it was such a conversation that you have um in a couple that's so such a conversation you have as black folks where we're, we're just like trying to dissect what we're up against what's happening how we might deal with it uh we may have a difference in opinion uh but you know at the end of the day we're gonna work it out so and I love the trust uh, between the couples, which I think, you know, we don't tend to see as much as that anymore in some films. Mm -hmm. So I like that approach. What did you bring to the table doing it yourself? You know, you're a woman and you're doing this. How did you see shaping this woman as being strong mom and being, you know, supportive to her husband? What were you coming from in terms of your acting ability with that? Yeah, I, um, I was really coming from uh, uh, my mother, actually. Uh, she, my dad uh, started a an art gallery in the eighties in Oakland, a black art gallery. This was a new thing. This was not something that people had done before. And, and, you know, my mom was, you know, raising us and worried about bills and worried about all those things. And so I really understood, uh, Anne, and I understood where she was coming from and, and that practicality because we know how the world is, you know? And so, um, that was really what spoke to me when I first read this. Was there something about that scene for you when you were in the bedroom, you know, in that scene where you talk about saying that word? Yeah. What were the emotions you were feeling at that? I could just feel like when you said the words and we yeah. don't say that in our home. Right. It was so deep. What were you feeling at that point? Uh, I, I mean, I think I was feeling a, a mixture of frustration in that, uh, not just with them, but just with the fact that like we have to be, have, so careful with our image, you know, so careful with the words that we use and our word choice and, and how we present in the world because we're not sure um, of how it's going to be taken. And, and just that kind of like, oh, these are things that we have to instill in our children, you know, and, and, you know, you, you slip up, you know, you slip up and you say something like, oh, I shouldn't have said, oh, they're listening. Okay. All right. Listen, y'all like, <laughs> I know mama just said that, but you know, that's not, that's not what we do, you know, I felt uh, that. And just to own that. So I was yeah. feeling all of those things. And I felt that because I feel that sort of grief, that anger at the same time. Oh my God, do I really have to say this to my kids? I yeah. really felt that that was really powerful. So what are you hoping when people see this beautiful movie, what are you hoping would come away with the audience? If there was one thing for you, what would that be? Yeah. I hope that one of the things that people come away with is that, you know, so often, uh, not only in the past, but even now, uh, black folks, people of Asian folks, Latino folks, women are constantly having so many barriers put against them. And, you know, it, it's not that they don't have the best solution. It's not that they're not smart. It's just that all the chips are stacked against them. You know, it, unfortunately, it's not only that it's not that the best person always gets to uh, do the job. And, you know, this was an oil spill that affected the, the entire area. And rather than just having able-bodied humans who wanted to do the job, um, it was important that those were only white men, you know, mm -hmm. and that would have gotten in the way of this thing being cleaned up. That gets in the way of our environmental responsibility as people, because this spill affected everybody. Yeah. So I hope that people understand that, like, those obstacles. And I hope people understand that, you know, not everyone may, t everyone may not tell your story, but you can be that first ripple um, that, you know, sends through, uh, you know, a big change, you know, in your life or in the lives of others. 
Well, I wish I had lots more time to talk to you. I have a hundred more questions, but maybe that's <laughs> at another time. But I'm really glad this film is coming out and you're in it. And it's just so many layers are happening that we keep seeing the same things going on even today. That's so I, awesome. I really appreciate that. So thank Absolutely. you for your performance. It was wonderful to chat with you. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate so it. Much. Thank you.